All right, ranking women by attractiveness. Surely the women in this video will be completely honest and not lie at all. Should we just like close our eyes and like scoot to where we think oh we should God. be? Go. How are we not gonna You're gonna bump into each other, each other bro. Into <laughs> Sorry. Oh no. We bought five women together to rank themselves based on attractiveness. Okay. We also invited five men to watch and rearrange the ranking. So, okay, we've done one of these videos before. Basically how it goes is the women just lie to each other. I don't know, they, they don't wanna hurt each other's feelings. The guys are kind of ruthless. They just, you know, say it as it is. We'll see who I agree with at the end. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm starting to see it. Ooh, okay. Can we say like what we do or like what sure. our favorite things to do are? So I'm a dancer. I'm very physical. I use my body a lot. I love baking cakes. I always just like shove baked goods on my friends. I teach dancer. acting to young kids. I do mostly yeah. musical theater. Oh my god. Because I'm a, I'm a weenie. I know. Um, okay. But I'm single as all heck. Hey. I teaching am a acting. Okay, good. Major. I'm also a student. I'm double majoring in psychology and criminal justice. <sighs> I'm also an actress. I love to travel. I've been to India five times. Okay, so we have to do this. Should we rank ourselves? Right. Should we just like close our eyes and like scoot to where we think oh we should God. be? And yeah. then, this is so you know what I mean? Cringe. Just go for it on an individual basis I think and then... That's... Okay, I'm gonna judge based on where they're scooting each other as well, okay? Okay, I'm gonna be honest in my attractiveness rating, but just personality rating. This is a separate scale right now, Mark. Thank you I are. feel like my personality is really attractive. My looks, I mean, I feel like I'm like, I'm okay. Like, I don't think anyone would look at me mm -hmm. and be like, oof. Oh, I'm nervous. That's honest. Go. How are we not right. gonna bump into each other? Did anyone take this into consideration? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. We're all so humble, but like, we're all fine. I mean, we're interesting, all fine. interesting. What if you don't know, like, which one is the number? <laughs> See, I saw myself more as a two, okay, 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 but okay. I didn't know where y'all were standing. I saw myself as a two. In this group, really? Okay, well, all right. That's that's not accurate. Just saying, that's not accurate. Oh my gosh, then prepare yourself a two. The girl who I found most right. attractive was Jordan. She has a great personality. What is it with girls and lying? What is it with girls and lying? I don't understand. Why can't you just be honest? I don't know if their meters are broken because they're, they're straight or something. I know it's not broken. I know they're just straight up lying because even as a straight, guy i can tell if a guy is attractive or not okay if he's a giga chad all right he's attractive it depends on your you know jawline your physique all of that and if you don't take care of your health by exercising you automatically lose a bunch of points okay for the majority of the population that's universal she's confident dope oh see i thought this was i'll be i'll just I'll be, I'll be fine what, what? <laughs> wait 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 it's five to one no 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 oh okay okay there you go how did i end up here how do we do it off of like a okay, okay. first impression and attraction to the person i forgive her now. i'm just gonna put it out there just say it Sarah. just mm. to do it one two three four no that's not attractive that's not accurate i mean this girl is definitely at the top um oh sorry one mm. two Three, four. Okay, one, okay, hold up. Two, three, four. Got it. Um, okay, okay, let me just give my my rating. Uh, I can't even see them that clearly, but this girl, the first girl and the last girl are obviously one and two. Anyone can see that. Three and four are these two, and then fifth is obviously that that one. If anybody disagrees, this, this is not even my ranking. This is society's ranking, okay? If it was my personal ranking, obviously I'd take into consideration like personality, stuff like that, and you know, get to know them or whatever, but strictly based on how society will view you, that is the ranking, okay? One and two can be exchanged. Three and four, I, I don't know. I guess, I guess the, this person will be three, this will be four, and then five, right? One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, uh, if the girls' ranking one, matches, two, we'll see. Three, four. Okay, I'll be two because I got all four twos. Okay. I think okay. I got three, four the most, so I'll stick into that window depending on the other persons. There were attributes mm -hmm. that I saw in the other girls that I didn't see in myself, and hence I would have put them higher as well over me. So people are like, she's so sweet, she's so funny, she look, but mm -hmm. like, I wouldn't date her. I guess I'll be one. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I will say this should be based right, on attractiveness, like not personality. Does that make me a three? Okay. Yeah, I'll just stay here. Yeah. Nobody really wanted to be last, and I could kind of feel that vibe. 
So mm. I was just like, you know what, it's fine. Like, nobody is a five, really. So obviously, she is not number five, okay? She's obviously number one, I'd say. Personally, she'd be one, and this will be number two. If you're the only one where it's okay to be last, the other people might start complaining or something, but because you're confident and secure in yourself, you can be number five, and you know it doesn't mean anything. Where do you think you'd fit yourself in this one? That's just um, fact. Well, I mean, I don't know, because I feel like personality is a big thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, she's the one. Oh, by far. Oh, two. Yeah. Two. Three. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I'll say three. See, I would say three and I'm then four. Say three. Not saying you don't have a personality, oh, but I'm like, oh. They left her at five even taking into account personality? Just from the three minutes I've watched, for someone who is not supposed to be number five, willing to take the number five spot just to save the feelings of everybody else, and, and while simultaneously being honest, saying that, oh, I don't believe I'm a number five, but I'll take the spot just so I don't hurt the other people's feelings, her personality obviously goes up there. She's number one. Come on, let's be honest. So this is final? This is final. She knows the guy's about to switch this up real quick. <laughs> Please put on your earmuffs. All right. I'm going to predict the guys align with my things because I don't know, I'm a guy. <laughs> I hope they at least don't lie. According to the perception of attractiveness. All right. Do you want to start it off? Do you want to start it Do you go over there? Damn, all the way, bro. Like, just shift down. I think Michelle was the most attractive. How she looked, yeah. how she carried herself, and it just seems like someone that's going to live an exciting life, I guess you could say, or that you could have like a deep conversation. Okay, okay. Let's not go all the way there. Exciting life. She's the most attractive. Let's stop it at that. Let's not make five billion halo effect qualities right now Stay in Jesus. With, could you switch with her? Okay. I forgot, they can't Accurate. even hear me. Yeah. <laughs> you got a point. point. <laughs> okay. What, what would you switch? I switch her and her. Uh, you go over there. Oh, she is pissed. Right. She is pissed. Oh, those two. Okay. All right. And then you over there. Justice. I <laughs> am just honesty. <laughs> Let's go. Personally, for me, she kind of looks like Kristen Bell. And I, I really like Kristen Bell. So I'd probably <laughs> put her in, or in on the one or two position. Stuff like that, that is fine because that's your preference and whatever. That's fine to say. Like saying saying that, okay, according to my preference, but you can't really say that according to how everybody else will view you or whatever. Vibe, I think her whole aesthetic is very nice. So for mm -hmm. me, it's either one or two up here. I think that Maria was the most attractive for me. It was just like her whole vibe, and like I liked how her it's hair was, how her makeup was girl. done. Like she looked very nice. Are we content with five being five? I'm not. Uh, where do you currently want five? five? I want her at least three. So yeah. five goes up. She should be a four because it's like meeting in the middle. I think yeah. four is fine. Five and four? But we're gonna get ripped a new one. I don't <laughs> want to be the pointer. Oh boy. Guys are not afraid to be more blunt. They were straight up. Hey, you're attractive, you're attractive, you're not. But girls were like, I don't want to be rude. You know, we're all beautiful in our own way. Facts, facts, no printer right here. It's only the girls on this show. Because the girls in my comments are absolutely ruthless. They're pretty much just like me. They'll just roast anybody. So props to you guys, at least. God, that was ruthless. I feel bad. Damn. <laughs> Some of them are not too happy. Okay, final ranking women. It is the complete opposite. So the women put her at number five, men put her at number one, number two, number two. Okay, the three is a bit different. Four and five is pretty much the same as well. I don't know, are men and w women's like eyes built different or something? Or I think they're just being disingenuous to themselves because they know that they can put the larger woman at the top so that her feelings won't get hurt or something like that. Like honestly, what we're, we're doing, you know, being actually real with them is more beneficial for them in the long run. You can only upgrade your score if you know you're a low score. If you know you're like a two out of 10, then you can go start working on yourself. If you if everybody tells you you're an 8 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10, you're never going to start working on yourself. You're like, I'm already perfect, right? The first step to improvement is accepting reality, okay? God, everybody needs to learn this. All right. The way the guys were ranking the girls. I actually think we were doing it mostly by personality. I was super what? anxious about ranking them. My hands were getting all clammy. I was like really uncomfortable being the one to be like yeah, this putting is a bad them idea. where I thought. You know, it's obviously something that we do like in day to day life. We rank people you know, subconsciously, but having Thanks. to do it like in front of them and like them watching you rank them was it wasn't fun, but definitely a memorable experience. Yeah. I, I feel like you can't complain if you're brought onto the show. It's like you signed up for it, right? Well, I was at five and now I'm here. So I'm like, thank you. I don't know. Uh, it's very interesting. I feel I did think coming into this like cultural stereotypes would be a factor. Them ranking me first kind of 
shot that down, I guess, because I didn't think they would choose like an Asian girl first. There's a huge industry that Asian girls are attractive. Like a lot of people think like, what? No, that, that makes sense. Male's viewing me as attractive or not versus a female, it's definitely different because in a male setting, judging me, I knew that was gonna happen. Like I'm not stupid. So like I'm aware of how others view me. I was surprised at them placing me at the bottom, but at the same time, I know out of a room of beautiful girls that I was put in, that from the jump, there was there was no chance for me. I was, yeah, right, honest, <laughs> there was honest, no chance honest. there. Me okay. being the only black girl, like I knew that I wouldn't really rank. Okay, listen, I don't think that had anything to do with it. I think that you could have been number one. Some things is up to genetics, obviously. I don't know, if you become the absolute number one best version of yourself, I think you can be number one on this list. American beauty standards yeah. versus what people see, people of exactly. color, it's different. The guys that I interact I will agree, with, there is they a beauty socialize standard, just more like... with black women and they think more black women are attractive. I think that the guys ranked the woman from appearance more than personality. Do you usually feel like you're the most attractive person Always guys, here's a fun fact. I'm actually always the most attractive person in the room because I'm the only person in this goddamn room every day, all day, all right, goddamn it. I feel like it just confirms that attractiveness is I'm also is so the most ugly in the room, I guess you could say. Working on it, Even right? though Working on it. I have my days where I'm like, ugh, you not really that cute, and days where I'm oh, yeah, like, yeah. ooh, you like, you, you cute. I would say I wouldn't change. Listen, there's a couple things people need to understand. You should never let anyone make you feel bad for the way you were born or something like that. If it's something that, okay, I'm fat because I didn't put in effort into my body, then okay, you could probably feel bad about it and you can start working on yourself. If it's like a genetic feature that you have, like, nah, screw them, right? Anyways, let me know what you guys thought. Who was the most attractive besides me, obviously, cause I'm giga sus.